one reactor. I thought we'd be stopped dead. At least stuck at impulse power. The Takan enhancements must be able to brute force limited bursts of warp output. Yeah, but they won't get to wherever they were headed at this rate. They're just limping along now. So where does that put us? Maybe I can answer that. I got the ship's heading. They've changed course. Drastically. Looks like they're headed here. The Usonia system. They might stop there. Can we use the Zeldi's comms to signal your fleet? Our comm systems are locked. Grab hold! this ship to make these short warp jumps. They're going to tear it apart. Zeldi is still made by Alidian hands, despite all this Takan corruption. It will hold. Then we just gotta stay safe until Starfleet can find us. Your people... Is there somewhere you go when you die? Life after death? No. On my home world, some people think they can cheat death in a way by joining with the Trill symbiont. But that's not a life to me. Hmm. What about you? Is there another plane of existence for you? With every passing battle. I believe there's an afterlife. You do? Yeah. Then you should understand this. My people have a special journey. When Alidians die, we rejoin our comrades, family, and ancestors. On the parade grounds of Cirella? That is just one part of it, but yes. Death is not the end for us. So, even if some part of Itasca remains, by letting the Takan use her body, at best, we are delaying the inevitable next step for her. At worst, we are leaving her as a prisoner in her own mind. You want to save the transformed. So do I. But now that I've seen it happen, does it make me a hypocrite to say he has a point? What if we can't get them back? We can't leave them like that, right? I think Itasca would want to be released. To think of what she could be going through right now. I know it's awful to think about, but if they're still alive, we can still try to help them. We lose that option once they're dead. I had a sister, a twin. It's very rare among the Trill. You never told me that. She was one of the youngest hosts to ever join with the Symbian. A sentient creature that lives in our body. It's considered a great honor. The Symbiont can bring centuries of knowledge and wisdom to the host. But sometimes, the Symbiont personality suppresses the host entirely. My sister was the closest person in the world to me. I knew she would be different after joining. But she drew more and more distant. The room we shared growing up was foreign to the both of us. And eventually, she or whoever she'd become, cut me out entirely. So I left for Starfleet and swore I'd never go back. I couldn't stand the thought of seeing her. Someone who looked like my sister. You should try to see her again. When all this is over, maybe things have changed for her after you've been away for years. I, I couldn't go back. Not now. You remind me of Vitaska. I do. Bonds are not made by what runs through your veins, but the blood you spilled together. Itasca was my family in that way. 
I want you to know there is nothing I won't sacrifice to win this fight. But if we're lucky enough to survive, I'd be honored if you'd count me as one of your tribe. As Itasca was. Even a couple of engineers like us? You are... many things. I don't need to wait that long. We've bled together. No one else will know what we've been through. That makes us a tribe. Right here. I'll take that. They not cease this madness! What is this place? Is that... the Veskar? Another one of yours? Not anymore. They've corrupted it. Just like the Zeldi. Now there are two ships. Did this just get better... or worse? It certainly doesn't bode well for the crew of the Veskar. It's worse. This is definitely worse. Thanks. That really helps. This doesn't look like the Aphelion. What are they doing here? You don't think they're just meeting their buddies? Maybe, but... Then why are their buddies here? Prepare for transfer. The storm! It's back! What happened? Hold on. Scanning. Tetrametric radiation is dropping. The Zeldi's dropped to minimal power levels. It's running off just the one warp core now. That means... They've sent the cartabula to that other ship. 